Today we're gonna to be trying two viral keto friendly cereal recipes. So in the beginning stages of the panini, when everyone was at home, I saw everybody making this pancake cereal. And honestly, I kind of wrote it off. I don't know why, but I just kind of said that's not keto friendly and I never paid attention to it. But last week I was on TikTok again and I was watching somebody else make this cereal and they were using this thing. And this is a honey dispenser. They were dropping the mini pancakes onto a pan using this thing. And I thought, well, that's a really easy way to do it because I thought the other way where people were piping it with a little bottle, it just seemed ridiculous. But with this thing, I thought maybe this is doable now. So I thought that we could try to make keto friendly pancake cereal today. So this recipe is really simple. All you're gonna need to do is buy some high key pancake mix. This is Sarah and I's favorite pancake mix. It's also a waffle mix. So if you have a chaffle maker, you can also use this mix in that. We also use it to make a keto friendly orange chicken and you can use it to batter vegetables and you can also use it to batter chicken. We love this mix and we use it all the time. So it says here that it has one gram of sugar per serving, seven grams of fiber. It's grain free. It has two net carbs per serving. So I'm gonna prepare this mix according to the instructions. We are just going to be replacing the coconut oil that's required with avocado oil because that's the only oil we have and it's very neutral so you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Into a medium-sized bowl, I added one half cup of high-key pancake and waffle mix, one egg, two tablespoons of oil, we used avocado oil, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of unsweetened milkadamia milk. You could also use almond milk or whatever type of milk you want. And then we stirred it all together. It's starting to set up now. It's nice and thick. Okay, so I'm excited about this. We're gonna transfer this into our little dispenser. This is a honey dispenser. You're supposed to be able to press this down and it should release a small amount of pancake batter onto the pan. So we're gonna heat up our pan and we're going to lightly coat it in butter and we're gonna get started making our keto-friendly pancake cereal. So the hardest part of this might actually be getting the pancake batter into the dropper. So I'm going to funnel it into a measuring cup with a lip and then I'm gonna pour it into the dropper. Don't rush it. I'm not. Don't rush it, Emily. You take off this when you're ready to go. Couldn't you just make one pancake and cut it up into pieces no. and then put it this in the bowl? Is, that's not fun. Emily bought this thing just for this purpose, so I hope it works well for you. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ready? Yep. Hey, look at that. They, they're getting, yeah, they're getting, getting progressively bigger. bigger. They're, this is too big for cereal. You have to make them smaller. All right, some of them are way too large. So I'm just gonna make them as small as I possibly can. We'll see you in about five years when I'm done. We don't have chopsticks, so Sarah gave me toothpicks. That's what they used in the video. Sure, okay. Just stab it, it doesn't matter if you stab it. There you go. They're overdone. All right, I'm gonna keep going making these little pancakes and taking the ones that are already done out and putting them in our bowl and then we're gonna plate it up and try it. All righty, pancake cereal, the viral trend from yesteryear. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's been a year ago. It All will right, be a year ago. Let's try it so that it's not soggy. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, honestly, because pancakes are soft and they taste good. They taste like pancakes. Mm -hmm. They taste like maple syrup. Mm -hmm. They're kind of disintegrating, you know? I think it's kind of a cute idea for kids, but maybe I wouldn't even add the milk. I would just eat like a hundred little pancakes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the big fuss is about this recipe. I've been wanting to try it for like a year and a half now. And um, it just, it's not living up to it. It's okay, it's all right. If you wanna be infuriated for about half an hour flipping tiny little pancakes with toothpicks and that's what you wanna do with your time, this is the recipe for you. 
We used about one serving and we split it between the two of us. So maybe, Meh. maybe I would make them again, but I would make them just as little mini pancakes and eat them like that. Well, that's what, that's not the recipe. That's not the hack. The hack is pancake cereal. The hack is not pancakes. Okay, well then I would call this a fail. I don't agree that pancakes should be cereal. So next up, we're gonna try to mimic one of the cereals that we grew up eating and we really miss it, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So this next viral keto cereal idea came from Cut the Carbs Instagram page. We love Cut the Carb, we use it all the time. We make like crab rangoons with it, egg rolls, sweet and savory recipes with it. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out Cut the Carb. But I think you could actually use low carb tortillas with this. We haven't tried it yet, but I assume it would be the same thing. So the recipe is really simple. Pretty much I've laid out my Cut the Carb and we're gonna go in and spread some butter on it with some cinnamon and some allulose. You could use whatever sweetener that you guys like. We like allulose. Allulose is 70% as sweet as sugar. So you're gonna wanna adjust for that. Um, use more if you don't think it's sweet enough. So we're going to put together our cinnamon, our butter, and our allulose together, mix it up, and spread it onto our cut the carb on both sides. So I've cut my cut the carb into strips, and now we're gonna go back in and cut them into the actual toast pieces. Which are rectangles. Which are rectangles. Or no, you're confusing me. They're squares. <laughs> Sarah said they were triangles. Yeah. Geometry is not your strong suit. So I now have cut the carb squares. Voila. You did not have to sit through us actually laying every piece down because of movie magic, but uh, it didn't take too long. It probably took about five minutes to get everything laid out here. We're going to be putting this in our oven at 300 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on it. And then we're going to put it in a bowl and try it. Mmm, I'm excited to try this one, Sarah. Okay, uh, here we go. Mmm, mm. it's good. This definitely has some crunch to it. The other one did not, so very I like good. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're chewing. Sorry, can I hear it? So it's crunchy. I can okay. hear you chewing. Yeah. Um, it's about nine net carbs per sheet of cut the carb. So um, we split it in half, so it's about 4.5 net carbs per serving, which really isn't bad for a keto cereal. And the melcadamia, which is made of, uh, what? Melcadamia is made of, um, sorry. Macadamia nuts. <laughs> I think there's like one gram Less of- Less than one gram of carbs per, per eight, eight ounces. ounces. So I would call this one a win. The other mm. one, I think the pancakes were really good. I enjoy the high key mix, but I would just eat them like little mini pancakes without making it a cereal. Or just make normal sized pancakes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try it because I thought it was fun, but we love experimenting here on our channel. This is what we do here on the Keto Twins. And if you guys have any recipes that you guys want us to try or experiment with, leave us a comment below. We even like the weird recipes or the recipes that are questionable because those are the funnest to mm. try. I would make those again. Yeah, definitely. And if you would like to see other videos where we try viral keto recipes, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are the Keto, keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.